All right, guys, we're going to talk about how to spice up the doggy style position. It's a pretty common position. Most people know this, but how do you make it better? Because for guys, this is a really great position to be in to orgasm. And for women, it's a great position for us to feel excited by you. But how do you make this standard position a little bit more exciting? I'm Erica Angelo dating relationship expert of 16 years. Like this video and make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell. One of the things that I think you men forget to do is to interject a lot of soft touch. Remember, polarity keeps things super hot in the bedroom. That means soft and hard. Think of yin and yang. When you've got that polarity going on in the bedroom, it makes us more receptive. If it's just too hard, it's just a doggy position, doesn't work. But when you interject some softness, some soft touch to her arm, soft touch to her hair, gently touching her face, her jawline, stroking down her back, playing in between her legs, these sort of things make it very exciting for us. So make sure that you are interjecting a lot of soft touch because most guys just go into the hard positions and giving it to her hard and it's like, mm, this isn't porn. This is a real woman on the other side of your member. Another thing that you can do to make doggy style more interesting is when you're in the position, change it up. Do another position, like become more intimate with her because this isn't the most intimate position. So put her in the missionary position, look into her eyes, really gain that connection with her, and then surprise her, bring her right back into doggy style position. Why do you want to break up the mood like that? Because when you break up the mood, it makes us connect with you even more. Sometimes a doggy style, when you're not facing each other, it can break the connection. To really feel this connection, you really want to maintain some eye contact. So breaking it up and coming back to this position makes it more spicy. And if you're like, I want to know more positions besides this one, Erica, then you want to get erotic power positions, 25 positions. I even throw in a bonus. We even have bonuses about foreplay and even how to avoid premature ejaculation. You want to get that course right now. It's in the comment section. It's in the description. It's a hot seller. So when you're changing it up to create the connection, that really, really puts us more in the mood. The other thing is your hand positioning plays a big role. Some guys will just hold a woman in the middle of the back and they'll just kind of go back and forth, but no, 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 that's kind of boring. Actually, it's very boring. What you want to do is grab us by the waist, pull us into you. What you want to do is when you're in that position, rubbing along our back while you're in, our, in that position, rubbing up and down the back of our thighs, doing little things like gently rubbing our ass and then giving a whack, a smack, or even pulling on the hair a little bit in the back. Changing it up with your hands, what your hands are doing in that position can create a whole new experience for us and make it super exciting. In fact, I want you to write in the comment section, new experience, because that's what's going to make these sort of movements, these positions exciting is when you do things a little bit different, actually a lot different than the un than the expected. So I hope that that supported you. Make sure you go get the 25 erotic power positions today. I love you guys. Here's a whole group of other videos to support you. I'll see you in my next video.